Okay, everybody, it is Monday, sadly. Uh, time to get back to work here. Uh, weekend is over. Let's do it. All right, so it is Monday, June 29th, 2020. Here's where we stand right now. Stock futures are pointing towards a higher open. Let's put a few other things together here so we can gauge maybe what will happen today. So again, stock futures are higher. Crude oil is getting bid higher. Gold and silver are under pressure. The dollar is under pressure. Um, and the 10-year yield is hovering at about 0.649. Cryptos are about flat. It looks to me, at least right now, the fact that the dollar is weaker, the fact that we got some cash coming out of precious metals, which the price action has no bearing on reality anyway, um, this might be a setup for this market to go higher. Now, let's see how it plays out. Let me explain this to you in case you're not seeing it for yourself. You cannot escape the fear narrative is off the charts. The creature known as Fauci, I think I'm saying his name right, he said, quote, look this up for yourself if you don't believe me. I put links to this on my Facebook page, my Twitter feed, in the chat room, on my website, traderschoice.net. The man said the vaccine may not be effective if not enough people get it. So what's the agenda here? Get that vaccine. Get that vaccine. The vaccine agenda is incredible it's absolutely incredible right now and why i mean you got nations here pre-ordering vaccines to the tune of millions and millions you got big pharma foaming at the mouth <laughs> over the prospect that they're going to be injecting everybody and potential drugs they're going to cure the world you got to be kidding me but this is the narrative this is where we are at as soon as they start, look at look what they did here. They were floating out stories. Even the president was backing it up, saying a virus, uh, a vaccine for this virus is uh, going to be here sooner than you think. Uh, and they were talking about therapeutic drugs. They're going to work. They're in the pipeline. Stocks were going up. All of a sudden, oh, I, you know, we're getting more cases, I guess. I don't know what they're trying to pull off. I think it's fear. That's all this is. Where do these numbers come from anyway? I don't buy it. I don't believe anything at all, okay? That's just me. You believe what you want. But to, to me, anything, and I mean that, that is broadcast from one of these programs, uh, the mainstream media, it's fake. I don't buy it. any of it. Uh, I've lived long enough to realize it's all part of the machine. And I think you would agree. All right, so look, so let's cover this real quick. Again, stock futures higher. 10-year yield, 0.649, okay? It's hovering about where it was on Friday, but that dollar lower. There's no cash moving in here. People aren't holding dollars. And the fact that we got some cash coming out of precious metals and cryptos that are flat here, of, of course, with crude oil getting bid up, this is at least for now, and stock trading doesn't start for about half an hour, this is a setup for stocks to go higher. But let's see what they push. I mean, with this narrative of fear and more fear and, you know, false false narratives about the vaccine's not going to work unless more people get it. Duh! I mean, uh, the creatures that exist in the realm that we're supposed to be looking up to is... Uh, it's, it's actually, it's, it's insane, the environment we are in. It's completely, 100% disconnected from anything. And I really do believe this. People are waking up. They're waking up. They're starting to realize that this is just a farce of the highest order. Uh, and they're just waiting for it to pass. That's, that's my take on it from the people I talk to, the people I interact with. They're like, whatever. Okay. Anyway, that's it. Love you a lot. Please share the video. Let's see how this plays out. And I'll see you at the end of this freaky day.